Well, this answer is bound to scare off some of you. What do I think of the anime community and gaming community? Well, for starters, I consider the word community to be a major misconception when it comes to discussing this sort of stuff, very damaging and also very collectivist. There is no such thing as anime community or gaming community in my eyes. Instead, imagine yourself a territory, like a territory on a map. And this territory is occupied by a number of tribes and ethnic groups, each sharing more or less the same language and some cultural traditions. And whenever these tribes or clans meet each other, it rarely ends well or peacefully. Now, your average Dave of Toho tribe, in all due honesty, couldn't care less about all of this, as long as he can continue to jerk off to his wife in peace, but then there are people in his tribe who actively profit from conflicting with other tribes, be it in cultivating proto-nationalism, local folk religion, or he is somewhat of a big boss in this tribe and he has to keep his cult of personality intact. Eventually, these different tribes get tired of just senselessly butchering each other and they start to form various agreements and pacts. Usually it's because they're pretty similar to each other culturally or believe in the same moral and religious principles. Then as time goes on, these alliances turn into tribal confederations, usually united under one set of laws or under one strong and charismatic chieftain. And now what you have is different influential and semi influential people plotting under the rug to keep their confederations intact, purging the disbelievers or traitors among their midst, and using their militias or unaffiliated tribes to wage wars on their behalf, all while Dave of now Reddit confederation continues to jerk off to his wife who's in peace, occasionally repelling a raid or two. And I know that this all sounds very hostile, but I personally don't have any objections to this system. Why would I? If people would suddenly all agreed to live together in peace, singing Kumbaya and roasting marshmallows near a campfire, then the world would be awfully, awfully dull. There is nothing wrong with intertribal conflicts. They refine and solidify whatever beliefs they have. The problem comes when I have to actually interact with this environment as a petty leader of a small tribe of 100 and something souls. Because if I want my tribe to prosper and not be suddenly raided or destroyed by a famine or something, I'll have to make alliances. And making alliances means that you constantly have to walk on eggshells in order to not offend or enrage anyone stronger than you. And while my tribe is essentially a relatively small clan, I'm more or less safe. But once I start growing and gather more support from other tribes and maybe even confederations, others will start to notice me. And that means that at least one or two of those eyes will be thinking on how to destroy or exploit me. And I know that some of you are thinking right now that I'm talking shit and overly paranoid. Maybe you're right. It is entirely possible that the entire community is nothing more than a bunch of Daves living separately from each other and jerking off to their wives. It is entirely possible that I'm just projecting my inner fears of being rejected or whatever Freudian terminology you might throw on me, but, well, not like it matters. I am here. I'm not planning to go anywhere, and whether I like it or not, I have to work in order to get my tribe stronger. And that means that I'll have to do things that will eventually haunt me in the future. Just part of life at this point. The coconut nut is a giant nut. If you eat too much, you get very fat now. The coconut nut is a big, big nut. But this delicious nut is not a nut.